Dieting sucks. It's tiresome, and starving yourself for months of your favorite ice cream is a cruel and unusual punishment. Such is the case for the chase of your ideal body. At least, that's what we've been told. Fortunately, there might be a savior of such pain and suffering, and that is the use of diet breaks. It might seem counterintuitive initially, because it is true that if you want to lose weight, you have to take in less energy or calories over time than your body expends. Adding a break on paper means that it will only stall your results or worse yet, gain some of the weight back. Incidentally, that belief is exactly how the idea of diet breaks being a potential weight loss tool came to fruition. In 2003, researchers attempted to accelerate the effects commonly seen when people fall off their diets, particularly the negative effects of weight gain relapse. To their surprise, participants that were prescribed breaks during a weight loss program, either multiple two-week breaks or a six-week break, didn't really gain much weight at all and had very little problem jumping back into their diet. At five and an 11-month follow-ups, weight loss did not differ much between the continuous dieting group to those prescribed breaks. According to the researchers, it seems that the planning of the break, rather than the break per se, was a major factor. More on this in a second. The physiological mechanisms in play during breaks remain to be determined, with leading theories suggesting breaks repair hormonal imbalances, particularly leptin, which controls our hunger signals, and thyroid hormones, which regulate metabolism. One might also suggest a diet break increases NEATS, or non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This assumes that during long periods of dieting, one might subconsciously be less willing or lack energy to perform mundane activities like dancing to their favorite song or going on a walk. The additional fuel from breaks potentially reverses that decline. Psychological benefits might exist as well. Back to the idea of planning, the researchers theorized that planned breaks essentially remove the feeling of self-blame or guilt stemming from one's personal failures to adhere to a diet. Since it's planned instead, it can lead to a positive feeling rather than a negative. Of course, there is the psychological benefit of eating the foods you desire earlier than anticipated. Later on in 2014, a study on obese women using a one-week-on, one-week-off diet to break schedule found that after eight weeks, continuous dieting did lead to greater weight loss. But in a 12-month follow-up, the differences were not significant. A 2016 meta-analysis further looked at nine studies partaking experiments on intermittent energy restriction protocols concluded that neither intermittent breaks nor continuous energy restriction were superior to one another in terms of weight loss. But it was only in 2018 that we had research suggesting superior benefits with prescribed breaks. The study was titled Minimizing Adaptive Thermogenesis and Deactivating Obesity Rebound, aka the Matador Study. They randomized obese men to either a continuous dieting group sustaining a 33% calorie deficit through 16 weeks or the intermittent energy restriction group, which also sustained a 33% calorie deficit through 16 weeks, but with a planned two-week break every two weeks, i.e. a two-on, two-off ratio. For those that completed the entire program, weight loss was 59% greater in participants taking breaks than continuous dieting. At a six-month follow-up, the difference jumped to 80%, or 8.1 kilograms more weight lost, largely because the continuous dieting group ended up regaining more of their weight. On top of that, the weight loss was almost exclusively fat mass in both groups, but significantly more with intermittent breaks. Of course, there's one big catch. The continuous dieting intervention lasted 16 weeks. The intermittent break protocol took 30 weeks. That's because the researchers wanted to match the duration of energy restriction, 16 weeks in both groups. The two-week breaks in between cannot be accounted as part of that restriction since they clearly weren't restricting calories during those times, thus the additional 14 weeks of breaks. This longer dieting time might be less desirable for those that need to lose weight in a short time frame. The Matador study also prescribed participants to eat at an energy balance, or just enough to not gain or lose any weight during their breaks, meaning to replicate the potential benefits in the study, you can't just eat whatever and however much you want during break time. Also, studies that either saw superior or equal results typically used obese subjects. Whether breaks are as effective in leaner individuals remain to be seen. And one more limitation is the lack of consistent or any exercise protocol in these studies. As we know, exercise can very well change the entire landscape of body composition when paired with an effective weight loss program. 
Still, a benefit does seem to exist, both physiologically and psychologically. As far as implementation, going off the Matador study, a two-week-on, two-week-off program might be a good place to start. One can argue that leaner individuals might benefit from more frequent breaks due to the greater physiological pushback at lower body fat percentages. Heavier individuals might use breaks less, like a 4-2 or 6-2 ratio, since they tend to see consistent weight loss for longer periods of time. Not much reason to throw in a break when results are flowing quite nicely. The main takeaway is that the diet breaks do at least serve as an alternative. An alternative that not many people are familiar with and, with so many of us struggling to lose weight, any alternative is openly welcome. If you're one of those struggling, try taking those breaks before the diet breaks you. Share your thoughts and experiences with diet breaks in the comments below. Also, apologies for the lack of video uploads in the past few weeks. It's been a hectic 2018 to say the least, but do expect more videos more frequently in the following months. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with every picture fit upload. As always, thank you for watching and get your protein.